right, today we have the 49109220 multi-tool blade set. It's a 20-piece set, universal fit, open lock anchor from Milwaukee. Exclusive at Home Depot. Just picked it up for $49.88 in the holiday bins for the 2021 Black Friday specials out there. I have not seen this before. It appears to be out already, but uh, yeah, I haven't never seen it before. This is a... Uh, strange it shows on the website down from 75 bucks to about 55 bucks and uh yeah don't get it for 55 bucks wait till these show up at your store and the holiday bins in the front to get it has a nice strap over here latch looks pretty sturdy so far these are imperial blades made in the usa with milwaukee branding on them holds everything but starlock in here and uh we have the little adapter for Dremel in there. We'll see how it fits in a pack out and we'll see how the anchor pins work. Everything is made in USA except for this and the sandpaper and probably the case too, but it looks quality made with the hinge right there. A lot better than the hole saw cases with the strap like this. So uh, let's get on in and see what we got here. We have the plastic surround there and then we have 60 grit, 120 grit, and 240 grit in here. Kind of just fits in the corner right there. Got the scraper down here. And some of these are doubles, so that's cool right there. And they just twist and lock. If we could see right there, just find a spot, twist and lock. And you can organize your blades in any way you want. So you can see it has the cross shape pattern right there to hold the blades and uh, appears to be a little difficult to remove but these are well oiled it has like a little stopper right there so if you have anything flat you might have to grind that down do a little bit of modifications here and there this back piece kind of sits in there and snaps into place looks like if you try hard enough you can remove it so it's kind of like a web design there and doesn't go flopping around all over the place. And there's the little bit piece for the Dremel, but uh, as we can see, it snaps in, snaps in, snaps in, and yeah, the case isn't too bad so far. A lot better than this case, and this is the reason why I bought it. This thing is quite loaded, so we're going to see how many blades fit in this thing, and can we fit more? All right, pretty much ate all that up. <laughs> as long as you don't pass the pegs, you're able to shut everything. So you can see here, as long as you don't pass the pegs, you're fine here. And it looks like you can squeeze in some Allen head stuff here. I was able to squeeze in this adapter here as well. And then another adapter there for the Dremel. So these hold little tiny things quite nice and I want to show you the peg design. You don't have to grind them down. So even on the Diablo blades, the same as the Milwaukee blades right here, you can just flip it over and then you can go full flush all the way down as we can see right there. So they will go all the way down to the bottom and a simple flip over, you can have it sit on the shelf right there. So just to show you on that and this star lock, it will only fit on that shelf. It won't go any further. And with the, this design right here, the Bosch, it will only fit on that shelf. And it's a little tighter fit there too. Yeah, so there you go on that. All right, that really swallowed up all my blades here. <laughs> Got this stacked out, maxed out here with seven. And as long as this clear part right here hits the peg, they're not gonna be sliding around, so. Keep that in mind, I have it latched right here, and this is about as much as it stretches out. So if there is quite a bit of heavy weight in there, it might slide over to the next. This one kind of slid on me a little bit. I have them rowed in this way to show you as well. And keep in mind, there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of interference on some of them, but keep in mind that shelf has to be ground off, ground off if you want them flat, because it's only 180 here. You can only put them like 180 
off right here from each other because of this little bat wing pattern right here. So it's 180 off. So you have to grind that off if you want them flat in this direction. I have this style here as well from Dremel. Looks like it only fits in this section and it hits the shelf as well. So that has to be ground down with this style as well. And yeah, it's kind of a hard fit in there, but uh, it will hit the top of the lid here. So this sandpaper has to be probably removed every time you put it in here. Uh, these are all the styles I have. And uh, I think there's probably a few more other styles. Well, we got a Starlock to fit in here. Don't know about the other Starlock stuff. So this is all I have at the moment to show you, but we got a good example of how all this works right here. Let's do some measurements here. This is uh, one and a one and five eighths. Yeah, one and five eighths tall by 11 and three eighths just roughly 11 and three eighths by seven and a half. And let's try them out in pack outs. In this style pack out, looks like you could fit two in here, nice and snug. I have no idea why you would put it in this style pack out, basically a box inside of a box, but it doesn't quite fit all the way. It does have some interference, maybe if you want it waterproof because it does have a seal in it or maybe if you want to take the grid out and somehow modify it and put in here. Just some ideas to throw out you. Looks like the same too high in this one. And last but not least with the Milwaukee drawer system here, I have them in the deep drawer down here. You have to take a divider out to make it fit this way. And you have to take both dividers out to make it fit that way. So, <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a little bit of fun with this and it still doesn't even shut at this angle. Even if I kind of bury it down there. I, oh, there we go, I can barely get it to squeeze in if I bury it. So there's no way to get that other divider in there in that way and certainly not better on that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can come up with right now with this. It is super cool. I'm glad that I got to organize these. This has been a mess for a while. <laughs> and once again, guys, keep an eye on the Home Depot bins in the front for the holiday sale. These will be $49.88 and get them right away. Get them fast because I think if you I heard through the grapevine, if you uh, find it cheaper, toward, more towards Black Friday, they'll refund you the difference, just like how Target's doing with their Black Friday sale because of the supply issues. So uh, not 100% sure on that, but uh, definitely look into that. You can probably uh, just get it out of your worries, get it out of the way, buy it now. And then if you do see it cheaper at Home Depot or online or something, go to the customer service and hopefully they will refund you the difference. So that is cool on that. And once again, guys, thank you for watching and on to the next.